Hey guys, the Gamer Night here, and today um, I'm going to be reviewing um, a really cool Dinosaur King card book I kind of made. Well, I didn't exactly make it, but I did. Th I made this. I literally spent 20 minutes making this just for this video, which is cool. I f I'm kind of proud of it. Got a. Down there, there's the um, Spinosaurus spine, Spinosaurus over there, and then we've got like a Brachiosaurus. Anyway, um, if you don't know what Dinosaur King cards are, uh, they're basically, um, it, they're just like dinosaur cards. They're super cool. Uh, these ones are all my really cool favourite dinosaurs. Like, we've got my favourite dinosaur, which is the black. Black Panceratops. I just love pla Panceratops. Something super cool about it. Uh, got a Titanosaurus, which is a colossal rare. We have a Hunting Spinosaurus, which is the own. Um, I've got Black Panceratops and Hunting Spinosaurus, which are my only um uh, four star dinosaurs. I have got. A whirling ceratosaurus. Some of these are German. I don't know why. I must have got them like a long time ago when I didn't even know English. Got Daspidosaurus, Black Uh a Carcharodontosaurus, a, a raging um, Ankyceratops, Alpha Acrocanthosaurus, Wandering Taurosaurus. Uh, so yeah, there's lots of different cards. We've got the Pentaceratops, Eposephalus, Albertoceratops, Savage, Dragonosaurus, Tyrannosaurus, City Stalker, Elosaurus. And these three are the Alphas, I kind of super shiny Alphas, which I really like. Uh, we've got Trudon, Futabasaurus, Saltosaurus, Wandering Taurosaurus again, a Razor 2, Baryonyx, Pythinskisaurus, Theus, Yangchuanosaurus, Peaceful, Patagosaurus, Ampylosaurus. That's it for this page. Um, these are all German, except this one, Metal Wing and DT Attack and Alpha Gang Attack, Flame Fang, and the uh, big back up, and the rest are German. Um, we've got um, Tail Slam, uh, Paralyzing Shock, Razor Wind, Searing Lava, which is cool. This used to be one of my first ever move cards I got. Alpha Dice, Eposephalus, Paris, a Black Rampage, which is really cool, and Succamimus. We've got Alpha Elasaurus here, Diceratops, Water Soul, or Water Spowl, and twir Twisting Tornado. And we've got loads of different cards. We've got all these pages to fill. I'm not gonna go over them all. There's literally only one page left to fill in, and they're all double sided. These are pretty much all the good cards I have, and here's like the amazing ones. Uh, yeah, um, they're super cool. Uh, yeah, and I have a few more, and I'll show them in a minute. So we have some more, as you can see we've got a Spinosaurus, which kind of changes. These aren't Dinosaur King trading cards, but they are, uh, oh, Vassal cards, which are super cool. As you can see we've got a Spinosaurus that kind of changes, depending on what side you look on. We've got Majungasaurus, uh, Lexovasaurus, and Jibari. So we have a few time, I'll kind of explain this. So some facts about this is, uh, so how this is it's kind of says how to um pronounce it. So spine, spine, o, sore, and us. Uh, it's a carnivore. It it means fawn lizard. I'm pretty sure it means spiny lizard, but okay. Uh, and it lived in the late Cretaceous period. The stats uh, it weighed approximately four hundred kilograms. The length. Approximately was 18 meters. The uh, height was approximately six meters. We have my 
uh, oh this is also the um the five factor is 10 as well and the card is number eight which is cool we've got the majongasaurus which is the um 14th card and the fight factor is nine so it's not that bad um say ma majongasaurus so majongasaurus basically it's a carnivore um it means majonga dome it lived in the uh, late cretaceous period the stats um it weighs um, approximately a hundred uh, a thousand uh, that number of kilograms and um the length was approximately seven meters uh, it weigh the height was, was approximately two point two meters and there's the fight factor nine then we've got lexovasaurus which i really like um say lex o v saur us it was a herbivore uh it its name means lexovi lizard uh, it lived in the late jurassic period it it weighed about approximately um 1800 kilograms uh the length was approximately five meters and the height approximately two meters and its fight factor was three so compared to these two it's horrible and we have even worse at one which is fight factor two so we have joe barrier oh this one's also the 13th card this was the 12th uh facts um say joe bar e uh so joe barrier uh diet it was a herbivore did i say this was a carnivore if i did this is a herbivore uh its name means joe bar uh it lived in the early cretaceous period and its stats were weight it weighs approximately 22,000 kilograms and um, the length was approximately 21 meters and height approximately 4.5 meters and yeah um these cards i don't think you can buy them at all you i don't even know how i can't even remember how i got these i don't even know how, why i got these um, i think i might have got them from ebay or something but yeah guys uh so if you do you want me to do um more uh dinosaur king cards uh, to maybe even i can just finish this book completely um uh, like this video and you yeah, guys uh bye